Hamlin, an athletic trainer, did the same for an Army men's hockey player in Connecticut. News 8's Rich Capola joins us with an update. Rich. Well, less than two weeks after suffering a severe neck laceration in a game versus Sacred Heart in Bridgeport, Army hockey player Eric Huss and those who saved him are speaking out. Huss was injured when two players collided at center ice with the skate blade of one of his teammates, clipping Huss in the neck inadvertently. That's when Army's athletic trainer Rachel Leahy went to work. The Quinnipiac grad remained by Huss's side to control the bleeding from the ice all the way to St. Vincent's Medical Center. Today, they spoke out together, and the bond they share will last forever. Now I see him every day. You know, we're doing regular check-ins. We're texting at night. He sends me another video when somebody sends one in. Um, it, it's been a cool experience for the two of us. Uh, we'll definitely be bonded for life after this. Rachel is obviously an amazing resource we have uh, here. And uh, I was fortunate enough before this to not really ever need the resource, but... Uh, now we're, we're great friends and bonded for life, most definitely. Sadly, Huss's injury is similar to the one that claimed the life of 16-year-old Teddy Balkin of New Canaan in a game at Brunswick School in Greenwich last year. His death brought about the topic of neck guards. In the case of Huss, the NCAA suggests that players wear them but doesn't require it. Huss was asked his thoughts on the topic. For my injury, it wouldn't have, it was so high up on my face that, I mean, a neck guard uh, wouldn't have really been there to protect me. Um, but going forward, I am definitely going to be wearing a neck guard. Also deserving of credit is Surgeon Matthew Carlson in the care Huss received at St. Vincent's Medical Center, a level one trauma center in Bridgeport. Huss said Dr. Carlton did an amazing job closing the wound, adding, quote, it's getting me out of shaving, which is nice. Know that feeling. I'm Rich Coppola, News 8.